Grandma's death had a way of gnawing at those memories. The foul premises of decay that starts to appear. First her face will chip away, then her voice, until you fill her memories with a mirage of voices and faces, but some moments stay with you. Like the wrinkle of her hand when she grips the cup, the way she wraps her bone roll around like a cuckoo's nest. When I look at my mother long enough, I reinvent grandma. I take out my crayons, push together, pushing skin together to formulate wrinkles. Then I douse her in brown that is too brown. But I create grandma long enough to stick her back on the fridge and hold the corners with our DNA. That's the first one. And then...